Hello and welcome to Squarespace Tutorials with Jake Jorgeman. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create and stylize buttons within Squarespace. So what I have here is this button test page that I've created and what I'm going to do is show you how to create uh, and edit buttons in Squarespace. So the first thing we're going to do is we want to create a button. So what you have here is when you're in Squarespace, anywhere within your layout you have these options for these little plus icons here. We're going to hit that plus icon and we're going to scroll right on down here to content. Here you have search, content link, and button. So we click on the button icon and now we're going to see this little button pops up that says learn more which is their default text. Well I'm going to change this to say click me and you'll see uh, the text and everything changes right there. Now you have the ability to change the click-through URL. So I'm going to put that to my Squarespace consulting page, jakejorgman.com slash Squarespace. And again, you have the ability to edit link parameters or open the link in a new button if you want. Uh, so once you have that, then you're going to scroll down and you have this size option. And the size is really important, and I'll explain that in a second when we get to actually stylizing the button. But you can make it small, large, or medium. And the last thing you can do is align it center, you can do it left, or you can align it right. And we're going to leave this center, and I'm going to make this one small and then we're going to leave that there. And actually I'm going to change this text for sake and call it small button because I think that'll make things a little easier to understand when we go to the stylizing. Now I'm going to add another button, scroll down, add a second button and call it medium button. And we'll leave that size medium, leave it aligned center and we're not even going to worry about a URL. I have one more button and we're going to call this a large button. And we scroll down here and now we have a large button. Look at that big old button. Okay, so we're gonna save and now we want to actually stylize these buttons because right now they look pretty boring. And But they look boring actually because we're in the editor. Now so I'm gonna click Save on this page. And Now when I want to stylize the button I actually don't do this here. I do this through the style editor on the uh, preview section of the site. So I'm going to click on View Page, and you'll see here the uh, button test page here. We have everything pulled up, and now we have the three different buttons. And you'll see one is actually a little different because uh, it's a small button, and I've just never stylized a small button on my site. So we'll fix this right here in the tutorial. But now when you want to edit and the look of these buttons, there's actually quite a few parameters. What you're going to do is you're going to click this little change style and the paintbrush icon. And when you do this, this is going to pull up the style editor on the left hand side. So here we have the style editor. And now in order to edit your buttons, what you're actually going to want to do is, while you have the style editor open, is to click on a button. And as soon as you click on small button, what you see is it's now pulled up all the parameters for this button. So the first thing you have to do, ability to do, is choose the button style. Do I want it to be a solid like it is now? I can make it an outline where it's kind of got this cool look and where it's white still, it's kind of transparent, but it's outlined. Or maybe I want to make it raised and it kind of has this 3D look, which is hard to see in this color, but it is, they do have this kind of 3D look to it. And then you also have the ability to change the shape of it, which actually I'm going to leave it just as solid because I, it's my personal preference. And uh, for some reason it's popped all the way down here, but we'll scroll down. And what we'll have to do is the ability to change the shape. So what if I want to be a pill? And now you see it looks, kind of has this rounded shape. Or I can do a rounded corners. And now it's almost a square, but it's still got this pill look to it. And I accidentally clicked out of it, so I'll click right back in. And uh, that's actually kind of what I prefer for my site. It's subtle, but I like it. And then you can change the button color. So maybe I want these buttons to be orange. So I can just simply go to this color editor, drag around, and change it to the color of my liking. 
And essentially that's how you do buttons. But the thing is, basically Squarespace has a different style for each button. It's button size, and those button styles go wide across the entire site. So I'm using large and medium buttons already on my site. So you'll see these two are already styled. And I've got my color chosen. I've got my, my text color. Oh, the other parameters I didn't show you where you have the ability to change your text color. So what if I want this small button text to be black instead of white? I can go down and turn that color, that button text, to black. And then last, I can change the font. And it pulls up your basic font editor here. And so I could change the font to whatever I wanted that to be as well. So um, again, basically you have the ability to change each of your different buttons. So you have a different button block of parameters for medium and your large, and it's going to save those and use those wide across your entire site. So what I'm going to actually do right now, just for the sake of my own productivity and to show you again, is I'm going to make the small button match the larger two buttons. So I'm going to change my small button color to the blue that I'd used on the other two. And then I want to change my small button text to white. And there we go, now my small button matches all of the other buttons on my site. When I'm done, I'm going to hit this little save button here on the style mode down in the bottom right. And we have just stylized, created, and stylized three different buttons. So these are really helpful on your site and a really quick way to create a call to action. I hope this tutorial was helpful, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on my website at jake-jorgovan.com squarespace.